you very much. Welcome, everybody, and especially welcome Bishop Vincent Long. It's an absolute privilege to interview you. I do love a good story. I'm addicted to stories, but I love stories for the good, and your story is amazing. Um, right from your exile, from your homeland, to finding a home here in Australia, and to finding a home in the wider space of the Catholic Church within the world. Um, and also bringing that all back together. Now you're the first Asian bishop um, in Australia, the first Vietnamese-born bishop outside Vietnam, and you bring those parts together with your role as Bishop's Delegate for Migrants and Refugees and Chair of the Australian Catholic Social Justice Council. It's a big story. We don't have time to cover all of it today, obviously. So we're going to start with the refugee experience. As we said, it's in two parts. You will have a chance to ask questions in the latter part. Um, and we're also going to get your thoughts on the path forward for the people of the church. When you think of your early life in Dong Nai, and I hope I've pronounced that correctly, what do you think? What did it look like? What was it like and who were you with? Well, um, thank you everyone for um, um, coming here um, to uh, listen to uh, um, my refugee story. Thank you, Geraldine. Um, it's an honour to, um, to be invited to, to this very um, uh, august company. Uh, in, in beautiful Western Australia. Yes, um, uh, I, um, I was born in Vietnam and Dong Nai uh, is the name of uh, my native uh, province. Um, I uh, spent my um, childhood um, mostly during the civil war in Vietnam and um, um, it's a time of uh, great um, upheaval and, and, uh, and turbulence. Uh, so my childhood was uh, basically um, uh, um, spent in, uh, uh, you know, it, it's dotted with memories of the war and, 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 and violence. Uh, um, the times when the um, um, artillery shelling would um, come at unexpected hours and we kids would be bundled up by our parents and taken to a bomb shelter, which every house in Vietnam at the time would, would have. And, uh, um, um, you know, we would uh, uh, um, uh, spend in, 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 in fear and um, uh, uncertainty as, as to what, what, what the day would bring. So, uh, in, in between those times, how big was your family and how did you manage to have a family life despite all of that? Uh, I'm one of seven children. Uh, I'm number four, um, um, and um, um, uh, my um, um, family was able to um, uh, afford uh, Catholic education for 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 us. And uh, my um, older brothers uh, went to a, a boarding school. Um, and um, so I also went to a boarding school um, later on um, um, uh, when my time came. And um, um, yeah, it was, a, uh, it was a, a time of, of um, um, incredible um, uh, chaos. Um, uh, uh, you know, at a time where I'm not sure you, you've seen the, 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 the film. Uh, I, I was um, um, able to view uh, part of it on, on my way to, uh, uh, to, to uh, here, and uh, it's called Danger Close, and it's about um, the Battle of Long Tan and uh, how you know, the Australian soldiers uh, fought that um, battle, and, and it sort of uh, you know, memories would um, flood back as to the time that, that uh, the war um, uh, um, uh, was, uh, was so um, uh, deeply uh, uh, edged in, the, in, in our psyche. You know, and it's a, uh, um, uh, it's a defining feature of, of my childhood. When did it become obvious to your family and to you that you had to get out? And what were the kind of options that you had? Well, um, um, I think to understand the reason why a lot of Vietnamese refugees chose to um, take that 
um, tremendous risk in 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 um, um, you know fleeing Vietnam on 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 board. Um, you have to go back to the time when Vietnam was uh, divided into two parts. You know the, the the northern part, which was ruled by the communist regime, and the southern part that, that was ruled by um, the democratic government aligned with uh, um, the West, you know, um, United States of America and, and its allies. Um, see, my parents um, uh, uh, left or, or escaped from, from the North at the time of the partitioning. And, and because they had seen the atrocities that the uh, insurgency, the communist insurgency commit, committed during uh, during the time leading to the partitioning, um, uh, they had applied that 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 policy that um, uh, uh, the Soviet Union and Communist China um, uh, 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 initiated uh, uh, policies like um, you know the 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 Cultural Revolution, uh, where the wh whoever w w were considered the bourgeoisies would be. Uh, summary trial and, 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 and executed, you know, and, uh, and the, the starvation uh, that was um, caused by um, uh, the, the, um, the regime, the new regime, you know. So they took to the boat and left uh, and went to the south. So they, they inculcated in, in, in me, in, you know, a, as a child, a, a um, a hatred of communism, and uh, um, especially as 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 a Christian, you know, it, it, it's almost incompatible to to live with um, under communism. So um, um, when um, the communist forces overran the South, um, uh, we 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 saw the option of leaving or fleeing the communist regime as the, the viable uh, option. And, and hence, you know, um, the, 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 of the two million refugees who, 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 who escaped from um, uh, Vietnam um, in the wake of the communist victory, uh, the bulk of them were Christians, Catholics. So what were your options in terms of how you got out and where you went? Well, you have to understand that it, uh, um, uh, when um, the communist forces overran the South, there was total um, chaos. There was uh, um, the embargo uh, imposed by the West. So Vietnam was... Um, internationally isolated. Um, the embargo was only lifted in the mid-90s, so 20 years after the war. Um, and and um, it, it was uh, almost like um, a repetition of the, uh, what happened in Cambodia, you know, with the Khmer Rouge, uh, you know, the, 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 the year zero, you know, hence the, uh, the genocide and all that kind of thing. Vietnam didn't go down that path, but uh, uh, in, in some ways um, the, the communist regime enacted a, a very um, uh, uh, kind of a Stalinist kind of uh, uh, social policy that, that, um, that, that, that brought about great chaos and, and misery to the population. And on top of that, you have the, the border wars you know, with the China, with China to the north, uh, and and the Khmer Rouge to the south, because uh, the Khmer Rouge was the puppet of the communist China, whereas Vietnam at the time was allied with the Soviet Union. So you're surrounded by all this chaos. How how do you find your way out of there? How did you? Well, we. Um, um, uh, had to find a, a way out, and, and uh, uh, the, 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 the most um, uh, 
um, the way that was available to us was was the, uh, the by by boat. And, and what were the risks? And what did you know about the kind of journey you? I, were I think we um, we d didn't understand the consequences of of um, um, of of, of um, our um, action or the the the. the uh, the boat journey and, and the risks that that um, um, that were part and parcel of the, the escape. Uh, I, I think uh, when you sit in a comfortable environment, you know you 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 tend to make an analysis of you know uh, the, the the good and the and and, and the bad and the, the the risks involved. But when you're faced with a uh, um, a situation, an extreme situation. Um, you, you know, you, you, your 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 reaction is is uh, um, based on um, um, uh, not not so much on on a, a, a calculated um, uh, um, uh, effort, but it, it's it's. Um, um, what is the most viable future mm. for you? It, it's survival. It's yeah, it's survival, survival instinct. The what were the conditions like on the boat that you took? Um, well, uh, we had 147 people uh, crammed in a space of a less than 10 meter lo uh, long uh, vessel. That doesn't so sound possible. It, so it's a, a very uh, extremely crowded, and, and you know, so uh, that's why uh, as soon as we got out of uh, uh, um, the, the open ocean, uh, we, um, the captain decided to uh, um, tell the passengers to get rid of all the, the, the stuff that he considered, um, you know, uh, of liability to the survival. So all that they brought with them, yeah. their belongings. Mm. Yeah, all the belongings, all the even the 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 the, the fuel and the the rice and the belongings of people who were um, uh, you know uh, um, ended up being thrown away. What? Where were you headed? And. And how long was it, did you think it was going to take you? I mean, what did you know? Because as you said, you're in a moment of survival. You do anything to get out. You put yourself in this position. But it wasn't like you had, you know, a nice pamphlet to tell you how this was going to go. So mm. what did you know and not know? Well, I think we, 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 um, we just wanted to get, get out of the country. And uh, um, we, um, we didn't uh, take into consideration the risks or the time that it would take, or whether or not um, we would be resettled, uh, that was another thing. You but know, you knew so. you were heading for Malaysia. No, no, we we knew we 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 only knew that we were getting out of the country um, because uh, you know there, there there were people who ended up in different parts of uh, Southeast Asia. Um, some ended up uh, in the north of the country, like places like Hong Kong. Um, or, or further up, um, uh, or um, uh, further out into the Pacific, you know, Indonesia, and 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 um, and, and even Vanuatu and those places. Did you call on your faith when you were in? The oh yes, yes, of course. Um, we um, uh, well, I um, my my journey began on the 11th of August, and uh, that was the Feast of Sinclair. And then on the uh, 15th of August, uh, we had a big storm, and, and it, it coincided with the Feast of the, uh, the Assumption. And uh, that was the time that we, uh, we faced uh, the, 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 temp the, the, the tempest, uh, the storm, and um, uh, when the storm passed, uh, you know, I, um, you know, they say that there's a calm after the storm, and, and the, the sea was incredibly um, 
calm, and I, I decided to, uh, uh, a, a few of us actually, uh, took um, a dive uh, just to, uh, you know, not to, to enjoy yourselves, but to, to, after seven days or six, six days without a shower, that was, uh, that was a, 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 a refreshing activity, you know, and, uh, uh, and, and, and little did, did I realize that that was uh, going to be a, a constant motif in, in, in my life, which is, uh, you know, to take, uh, to take uh, a, a plunge into the, the unknown, you know, and out uh, into the deep. I think you talk deep. about yeah, that's don't right. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that was uh, almost the 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 the, uh, the the experiential basis for my 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 model, you know. Tell us about Malaysia and the refugee camp. Um, when we arrived uh, in the refugee camp, it was uh, um, the high time of um, the exodus from, uh, from, from Vietnam, but also from, um, from Cambodia and, and, and Laos. So it's, it's really, uh, the Indo-Chinese um, crisis. It was uh, predominant, predominantly Vietnamese, but there, there, there were also people from, from those places as they were affected by you know, the Pol Pot regime and, and so on. Um, so the, the, the camp uh, was, was uh, uh, pretty crowded. Uh, um, I'd say at the, at the height of it, that'd be 15,000 um, uh, people uh, crammed in, into, um, so... Um, uh, well, you um, the, 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 the the ration came from the United uh, um, Nations for, for Refugees um, um, Commission, uh, and um, um, so if that's not enough, you 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 had to make do with uh, whatever you could, mm -hmm. so. Uh, for a time, I um, I, um, I I worked in a, a little bakery, and um, um, and that was how t how I um, supported myself. And how did you survive as a person and keep your your spirit and your hope alive? Yeah, I think that's uh, the, the 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 hardest thing mm -hmm. uh, for for refugees to to, to keep your hope in the face of hopelessness and, and despair and because uh, you don't know um, how long you uh, it would take to uh, to get resettled in a in another country um, uh, you don't know where you would be resettled um, your life's in limbo isn't it yeah so it, it's uh, you're at the mercy of um, um, uh, other people, and um, uh, it's a it's a it's a real struggle to 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 um, uh, nurture that sense of uh, hope in in the face of um, so much uncertainty, mm -hmm. and and and, and I, I guess for me it's um, it's the faith in in uh, in God and uh, and. Um, uh, that uh, that that um, solidarity with people around you. Um, so um, interestingly, you know, my uh, my vocation uh, was born uh, uh, and, and nurtured very very much in that environment. Is that right? Mm. Because you wanted to reach out to others. Uh, yes, yeah, so I guess you, when you're in that. Um, situation of hopelessness and, and, and uh, how you could uh, um, be uh, um, uh, uh, a point of um, uh, solidarity for your fellow refugees. Uh, so that was, uh, that, was, that was something that occupied my mind. Um, and, and um, uh, I, I guess I, be, I began to develop, develop a, a, 
a sense of um, empathy um, uh, right there. That's an incredible thing, isn't it, to be able to develop a sense of empathy when you yourself are in such a difficult situation. Mm. Um, you, I'm, I'm sort of telescoping things because we have not a lot, huge amount of time, but I can't imagine what it was like for you to go from that situation then to be transported to Australia for resettlement. And I believe you went to Springvale, was it, in, in Victoria? Mm -hmm. What, when you think back, what were your first impressions of this place that you'd come to? Uh, um, well, we um, arrived in, in Melbourne Airport uh, on the 2nd of um, December 1981, and it was, uh, it was a very strange feeling. It was, uh, um, um, I had never traveled outside of Vietnam before. Um, I was um, 19 at the time, and uh, um, it was a, a, a strange sense of um, dislocation. Um, and, and I remember coming to uh, Springvale, to, you know, to, to Australian suburbia, that was so unfamiliar uh, to my experience. Um, and, and uh, um, you know, the, the um, the, the, the roads, the houses, and, uh, and, and the first thing that struck me was, uh, was this, 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 um, um, this, this sense of um, 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 uh, almost emptiness on the, on the streets. You know, you, in, in, in places like Vietnam or Hong Kong or most Asian countries, you know, the place is teeming with people. You know, but but in, in in typical suburbia Australia, you know, it's there's really no one around. Yeah. One of my relatives who who came here as a refugee from um, Latin America said that he felt like a bomb must have gone off in the streets because where were the people? Yeah. That sort of yeah. feeling you had. Yeah, yeah, yes, it was it was a a a, a, um, um, a, a sense of um, uh, yeah. Um, um, void. So hard to get a sense of community then. I'm interested in how you <coughs> were, how you were treated um, by the people, by the community around you, um, through the government policies. You know, how did you, did you feel welcomed? Were you left alone? What happened? Well, um, uh, Springvale, as uh, in different parts of the country um, at the time, was uh, populated by. Uh, former refugees, um, uh, you know, people who came from places like the former Yugoslavia and um, um, Eastern Europe, um, you know. Um, so um, um, uh, it, it's, um, um, th there's that culture of, um, of, of, um, Acceptance, I guess, or, or at least the, that culture of familiarity with people who who came to this country as refugees or as migrants. Uh, but if you move to other parts of of the of the city or other parts of the country, um, people weren't exposed to that reality. Mm -hmm. You know, they only um, heard or saw images of refugees on, on, on television, but ne they never met a refugee. They never met sometimes uh, a non-Caucasian, you know. Um, when I went to Hobart for the first time, uh, in, um, it, was a, it was a strange feeling because, uh, you know, in, 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 in those parts of the country, um, um, you, you know, um, they, 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 they aren't exposed to seeing the, you know, the faces of, of, of migrants and refugees. So the, uh, the, the reception was, was, uh, was quite, uh, was different. What was it, when you uh, said it was different, what was it like? Well, um, um, you know, people uh, would look at you with, with a different, uh, um, uh, Perception. Um, I remember um, uh, when I was riding uh, my bicycle, um, um, I got uh, egg thrown on my back, 
Um, and yeah, yeah. And, and you know, youth would, um, you know, um, go past you and, 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 and you know, yell out um, obscenities at you. That, that is not, that's not uncommon. Mm. Um, did yeah. you have to put up with a lot of that? Uh, I wouldn't say a lot, but um, it, it, it did happen. And um, enough to remind you that you are the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, mm. yeah, definitely. How did you make your way at this time? Um, because it, was it during that time that you started to um, really look at your vocation and, and think about going into the, into the priesthood? As I said, uh, it, 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 it was um, in embryonic form in the refugee camp, uh, facing you know, the, uh, the experience of hopelessness um, all around and, um, and how to build uh, uh, an, an empathy capacity um, in the face of that. So, so um, um, going from there to Australia and um, having the opportunity to uh, reflect further on my experience um, uh, of, of uh, being a refugee as well as being a newcomer to Australia. Um, I, um, um, yeah, I, I, I uh, began to uh, consider seriously the, um, the, the vocation first to the priesthood, but then um, as it turned out, um, um, I uh, lived in the parish that were that was staffed by Franciscans. So I, that that um, that was the order that you that, that was the order that I eventually that you chose. What was chose. that transition like into the priesthood? Uh, well, it's a long journey. Um, uh, I. Um, um, I guess uh, for me, it's uh, the, the, being a Franciscan is uh, foundational to my uh, personhood, to who I am. Um, perhaps it, to some extent, uh, it's more important than being a priest. Uh, it's a defining um, uh, um, um, characteristic of uh, of for who I want to be, and um, um, uh, the the the, Francis, uh, the 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 priesthood adds another layer to the person that I am. But I consider the the the, the, the Franciscan vocation and the Franciscan spirituality, uh, which um, uh, has to do with uh, uh, you know the the, the sense of uh, um, simplicity and poverty and humility uh, to be more um, fundamental to 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 who I am to my vocation and it fits doesn't it with what you'd come through mm. who you'd been what you'd come through yeah, yeah. and what you wanted to do yeah. um, when you went into life as a, as a parish priest, how, what, what did you expect and what did you find? Well, I became a parish priest at a fairly young age of 36. I think I might have been one of the first Vietnamese parish priests in Australia. That was back in 1996. Um, and um, um, I, I, um, I loved every moment of it. I, I, I uh, you know, of course, there are things, uh, the skills that that you you learn or you de develop over the years, but the fundamental um, uh, vocation of the priest in being uh, uh, with the people and being of service to the people um, uh, really. Um, um, Something that I I I, um, I took to very uh, very well and uh, and did you find that the experiences that you'd had in your life to that point 
were important in, in what you were in how you were able to relate to people? Mm, yes. Yeah, so well, I, I I'd say the the, um, the, the 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 sense of being with the people um, uh, that that was um, critical to my lived experience as um, uh, as um, as a refugee. I mean, um, I. I um, um, I wasn't. Um, I had a sheltered life as a as a child, but um, um, in in my. Um, Although it doesn't actually sound like it. <laughs> from what you've described, ten, it's not like my my, uh, my my um, time in the refugee camp and my time in in uh, uh, in Australia as a migrant, uh, I think enabled me to um, to to kind of. Um, um, <coughs> To, to, to stand with people and to um, um, to get a sense of um, um, the common ground, you know, the common uh, humanity that, that we all have. At some point, you went to Rome, didn't you? And you spent some time there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I Can did. Can you tell I, us I, a little about that? I, I had two stints in Rome. One was um, um, to do uh, actual studies, uh, to do postgrad studies in Rome and uh, I came back and did some work and became parish priest and so on but the second time was um, when I um, uh, when I was um, seconded by uh, the uh, uh, Minister General to uh, to work as a uh, as his assistant so um, uh, we, we have um, a leadership team in Rome, and I was part of that leadership team. Which is, it, could you have imagined when you were in Vietnam that you know your life trajectory would have gone that way? That you, <laughs> that you would have ended up at that point? Yeah, it's well, a, the, yeah, it's uh, surprises along, along the way, isn't it? Mm. Thank you, Bishop Long. Thank you, Geraldine. Thank you, everyone.